What's up guys, I am Forza's Panda, or some of you may know me as F50 now, WF50W, and I'm happy to announce the first ever Team King League is coming to you in 2023, the Bar League. Bar simply stands for blockers and runners, that may be corny as hell, or that may be 5000 IQ, that's up for you guys to decide. Um, anyways, this video here is just to let you know that you can now start messaging me your official teams of two or three because there is a championship that allows you to play with three people on your team for that match in total. Um, so yeah, but in general, you can cycle between different combinations of, of two. So for example, me, Tim, and Aleski, we are the first official team. Um, in the bar league um and if we're doing a 2v2 we can do either me and Aleski we can do either me and Tim or we could do Tim and Aleski and we can defend championships that way too so if me and Tim win the championship we don't have to have that it doesn't have to be me and him to be the ones to defend it again it could be me and Aleski or Tim and Aleski now that I got that out the way yeah just just please let me know who you want on your team um, if you can, just, um, I'll take your word for it, but if you can, then try to have them confirm it too, like a screenshot or something, just so I, just so it's a hundred percent, a thousand percent even. Yeah, um, uh, as you can see at the top of your screen there, Bar World Championship, we have Bar PI Championship, and we have Bar Wildcard Championship. Now, the Bar World Championship is just standard. Well, I should start off by saying this. For every month, there's going to be only 26 cars eligible for the Bar World Championship and the Bar PI Championship, which I'm determining with a randomizer, as always. That will be live streamed as well, so you guys can see exactly when the cars will be announced. Um, Yeah... So the Bar World Championship will be using those 26 Bar Cars is what I'm going to be calling them. And they're going to be giving to you guys at the beginning of each month. Um, You can upgrade them to whatever you want. And yeah, it's, it's standard 2v2s. You guys know what blockers and runners 2v2s are by now. B the Bar PI Championship. This one is using the same Bar Cars, the same 26 randomized cars. But... This one is tricky. You cannot pass their stock PI, meaning you can downgrade and re-upgrade them as much as you want, but you can't stock. You can't pass whatever they are stock. For example, this lovely 2019 McLaren S or sorry 720s Spider <clears throat> is 887 stock. Now, if I go to the upgrade here. I can do anything to it as long as it doesn't pass 887. So I can put all-wheel drive in it that doesn't pass 887. This is not going to be a real build, by the way. It's just an example. I, can, I can't I can do that, so no front. At least not with this current way that I'm doing it. Maybe you can fit it in there. You know, f do whatever you want to your car. If you find a way to make it OP as hell, then perfect. That that will be the meta for that month. That's exactly why I'm re-randomizing cars or re-randomizing this 26 bar cars at the beginning of each month that way if there is one car that stands above all 25 others at least you got next month to look forward to yeah you gotta you gotta tough that month out and let's just continue on here put the rear wing in it at least um what can we do with this probably nothing right we can get drift tires say uh, hey you can get risky with it you can get risky with it and i should probably have announced that if you are a champion you get to choose whichever map you want that is in this game. You can choose your custom map. You can choose the Aerodromo, the Baja, the Stadium, the El Bacam, or I think that's what, Ekbalam, whatever it is. Um, or you can even choose a friend's map. If you get them on at the, at the right time when your match is about to go on and you want to set their map up and just have them quit the game while it's loading so that they don't start off with it, then that, that works too. So, yeah. 
do whatever you want I'm still gonna try so let's let's give an example here I know I'm kind of side tangenting but I'm just trying to show you guys the full expansive I guess in detail way that you know just the possibilities so let's say I did I was a champion me and Tim are champion and we want to set the map to an off-road map which it's probably never gonna happen. I'm real. We're always gonna stick to asphalt, as far as I'm concerned. There may be somebody that does, but you can get tricky with it. It still doesn't pass 887. You can put the um off of race tires in it. Now you got a lot of room to work with. Hey, if even if you want to try this out on, on um an asphalt map, it gives you more stuff to work with. You know what I mean? So I'm just gonna try to get it up uh, to speed. Build it up now to 887. Not really caring what's in it. I'm just trying to get it to the exact PI. Um, don't care there. Let's just go power. Can we get to 887 without any shenanigans? With an okay build? No, I don't even know why I would go camshaft. Hmm. Sorry, you guys gotta watch me build. I'll put some stuff in the description so you can skip above or ahead. Just get me to 887, bro. Come on now. Nothing. There's no clutch here. Whatever. This will definitely do it. I spoke too soon, huh? Yo, that's crazy. Well, I'm going to leave it at this. Because you know what? It doesn't have to be 887. It does not have to be 887. It can be 886. It can be anything below 887. So yeah, now I have my car and I'm ready to go for the Bar PI Championship. Um, Yeah, that's pretty much all there is to that. The same 26 cars will be used for the Bar PI Championship and for the Bar World Championship. Except the Bar PI has the rule where, you know, you can't build it past its stock PI. The bottom one, the Bar Wild Card Championship. This one, these are 2v2s, 2v3s, or even 3v3s using a 12-point rule that I've come up with to determine what classes are used. At the bottom left screen, you should be able to see D class equals 1 point, C class equals 2 points, B class equals 3 points, and so on. Both teams of 2 or 3 may only use 12 points when picking their classes for the match. Meaning, if the match is me and Tim, we can simply go S2 and S2. That is 6 points and 6 points, that equals 12, and that's eligible. You can go lower, we can do um, S2 and S1 as well. I mean, you know, who would do that? Um, if, I mean, there's, there's a lot of people out there that would do that, and that could get away with this. I don't even know why I'm saying it like that's impossible these days, but yeah. As long as it doesn't go past 12 points... Your team can use any combination you want. Now, if it's me, Aleski, and Tim, if we want to go all three of us in the Wild Card Championship, this is the only place where you can use three people, guys. The Wild Card Championship is the only place where you can have three people. And if we did, then we would have to work around the 12-point rule still. So we could go simple as three A classes. Four points, four points, four points. That's 12 total, and we'd be eligible. We could even get risky and go S2, S1, and have our third person be D-class, because that's still 6 points, 5 points, and then 1 point, 12 total. Um, that should be easier to understand as the games go on and as people play them, you know, as they're in motion. Explaining it's kind of kind of wanky or wonky. Wanky? Oh, I don't know about that word. Um... But yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. Please let me know who you guys want in your team because the Bar League begins, it technically begins February 2023, but I am hosting a January tournament. Um, It's multiple tournaments. I'm calling it the King Circuit. Okay, the it, it, it kind of doesn't roll off the tongue. It's kind of stupid because it's kind of confusing, but... I'm calling it the King Circuit. Every week of January, there will be a tournament with at least four different teams in 
um, at a time, you know, per week. And I will determine the rankings for the league, which starts in February, via the, the, um, the outcomes of every tournament that's hosted in the month of January. All right, so when I once I get those teams out, I can start um, even putting some matches together. Um, I'm not gonna randomize the cars yet, the 26 cars until like late December, maybe mid December, maybe a little Christmas gift. <laughs> um, but that's pretty much it. Hope to see you guys in this league. Hope to make King big in 2023. Hope to revive it. Hope to have fun with you guys. Peace out.